Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last equation from R5. We have 5, we have 5 over z is equal to 7 over y plus 2 over x. Now my first step is to realize that x, y, and z are in a denominator. So when I state restricted values, I know that x cannot equal 0, because if it did, that would make this denominator become 0, which it can't. I also know y cannot equal 0, and I also know z cannot equal 0. So in this problem, we have three restricted values right off the bat. Okay, here's the next thing. I have x, I have y, I have z. I want to clear fractions here. I'm ultimately solving for x, but right now, I don't care what I'm solving for, I don't want these fractions. So I'm going to multiply through, let me take a different color pen, I'm going to multiply through by the LCD, which would be x, y, z. x, y, z, x, y, z. So I actually bam, bam means multiply, I bam three times. Here's my equal sign. On this side, the z's cancel, leaving me with 5xy. Over here, the y's cancel, leaving me with 7xz. And here, the x's cancel, leaving me with 2yz. Now, I'm trying to solve for x. So I should get all of the x's on the same side. Well, this has an x in it, this has an x in it, so I'm going to move this over to the other side of the equation by writing 5xy minus 7xz equals, and of course the 2yz stays the same because we haven't moved it. Now, when I look over here, I can factor out an x. In parens, I have 5y minus 7z equals 2yz. And to finish solving, we're going to divide by 5y minus 7z. 5y minus 7z. That's one expression. And that cancels out, leaving us with this answer. Now there are two comments I want to make about this answer for x equals this answer. Two comments. One comment is this. We have this in the denominator. It's a little bit more complicated when you're stating a restricted value when there are two variables involved. So sometimes a cheap way around it is just to say this. How about let's just say 5y minus 7z cannot equal 0. In other words, this denominator cannot become 0. Okay? And one last comment. Sometimes I have students get this far and then they start doing what I call silly canceling where they'll say, oh look, this y cancels with this y or this z cancels with this z. The reason you can't do that, the numerator 2yz is separate factors. This y only goes with the 5 as a factor. It does not go with this term. This minus indicates that. So if the, if, you know, if the y were by itself like it was up here, you could cancel it. But when you have a plus or minus, and this is an entire grouping, which is what the parens indicate, you cannot cancel parts of that grouping. The minus or plus in the middle makes this one entire factor, and it can only be canceled in its entirety. And we're done.